Hey guys, welcome back to Fandom Sage Powers, where we discuss comics, heroes, villains, and the dawn. Dawn of X, that is. We are at our Excalibur issue, number four, and we're jumping in right now. Rogue, I'm tired of this. I'd be lying if I said I'd never thought about being your Prince Charming, saving you from this kind of thing. But I ain't been able to save you yet, not for lack of trying. Even when you can't listen, you're still the only one I want to talk to. I'm going to London for Betsy, and then that's it. Nothing else gonna stop me from getting you out of here. It is hereby ordered in protection and preservation of the realm that all occurrences regarding matters not being sourced from obvious earthly or celestial causes with answers not found in the firmament of heavens and deriving from lineage including but not limited to the matter of Britain shall be officially deemed otherworldly. The crown recognizes the other world as an extraplanar realm separate from but alongside the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland with two separate governance rights and laws distinct from our own. Matters regarding the realm of other worlds shall be under the representation and protection of heritor and title holder Captain Britain. In these matters alone, Captain Britain is the crown's highest authority. In all other matters, earthly and celestial, Captain Britain remains as an honored servant to the crown and shall be called on as a citizen to protect crown and country. The captain may be called upon to serve as the crown's representative against other world. In such matters, their defense of the realm is expected to be as a shield before the throne. Hey, I heard about y'all. Y'all don't like Betsy, huh? Go back through the gate, Mutie trash. Mutie trash. Mutie trash. Well, you really gonna hate me. He's crazy. Crazy? You ain't seen So, English people are British, but not all British people are English? Yeah. And the UK includes Northern Ireland, but not the Republic of Ireland, so only Northern Irish people are British. Yep, that one's important. And despite being in Europe, not everyone thinks we're in Europe? That's the continent. So which one of their fearless leaders is she here to talk to? Pretty sure it's the Queen herself. Hey, you feeling better? Yes, Jubilee. You can tell because there's no earthquake going on. So, Apocalypse fixed your powers? He prefers A. Richter, what did he do to you? He didn't do anything. He listened. That's all. I know it sounds crazy. I'm not saying I like the guy, but you don't get that old without learning a lot about how people work. He knows stuff. I'm feeling good. Maybe Gambit should talk to him too. I don't think that's going to happen. Come on. We got eightful fools, mon ami. A little taste of the old days. We were told to behave. They threw a bottle at me. Fair enough. Happy to help. Oh, say less. <laughs> I love this part. Listen, the X-Men have never had a problem ganging up on people. Matter of fact, that's their modus operandi is gang gang, okay? They're attacking us. Whoa, back off. It's an attack of Krakoan terrorism. They're dangerous. Hell yes, we are. No, we are not. Crowds have been waiting for hours outside Buckingham Palace to catch a glimpse of the new mutant Captain Britain. Not to the people of Britain. Look alive, Betsy. It'll get these vultures to leave you alone. Betsy Braddock, do you have a comment? Not for you, she doesn't. Shoo. What's going on? Is Gambit okay? Yeah, he's just a little fragile. How'd your meeting go? Are we in trouble? We're accountable to the Queen now. All of us. Her Majesty had a bit of paperwork for Captain Britain, and she needed to know the names of who would be working with me. I told her we're called Excalibur. Wait, did they just get drafted? It seems while we were off realm, Coven Akaba preempted our meeting with the Queen. She has some concerns, namely my citizenship. Her Majesty wants the matter settled. 
so I'll be visiting the coven to settle it. I got one concern, Rome. For once, I'm inclined to agree with Gambit. You are? Recall that I called you both here that night. I need her assistance. For that, she must be freed. Captain Britain must see to her duties, so we shall do without her services. You will escort her, Mr. Wisdom. Plan to. What are you going to do with Rogue? Help her, Captain. To do so, I have need of some items secreted deep within the ground. I will need only two. A master of Earth and a master thief. All right, Shogo. Time off to explore the island. Let's find us a nacho cheese tree. And only we know our little secret. You're not a human baby. You're a dragon. <laughs> Jubilee, thank goodness. Where's Betsy? She had to do some Captain Britain stuff. You okay, Megan? We only just arrived at Kokoa. People came to the academy with signs and said awful things about Betsy and about mutants, about us. We just wanted somewhere to be safe until Brian comes home. He'll be home really soon. It's cool that we have this place, you know. Right now, I imagine you want to be with family. Jamie Braddock? You look surprised. I asked Betsy not to tell Brian. Guess she didn't. Good girl. Betsy knew he was here. Alive again? Mama, who is that man? Hold Shogo one second, okay? When you see Jubilee make this face, you know you done messed up. This is the face you don't want to see. Hi, I'm Jubilee. And you can knock that off. The last thing she needs is you taunting her right now. How about you take the kitties for a walk and I stay and keep my brother's pretty wife company? Watch it! Was that crude? I thought the new Krakoa was into that sort of thing. Yeah, well, we also settled with punching now. <laughs> Jubilee hit him with a Roman candle punch. I'm dead. Come on, kids. Let's go for a walk. Can you sense him? The crystals? Kind of, but I don't think I'm sensing the same thing A is. How do you mean? He says these stones are made from the bones of long-dead mutants and contain their energy. He's sensing that. Some woo-woo stuff. I'm sensing what these things are, how they vibrate like the other ones I held. Uh-huh. Just point me in the right direction and I'll put them in my pockets. Though I ain't sure why you need a thief to get a rock from the ground. It's only stealing if someone already owns it. Heads up! Looks like someone does. No wonder Apocalypse didn't fill us in. We're stealing from druids. Should I be worried? You tell me, mon ami. We are deep in the caves of the earth, and they are the masters of this place. Should you be? Well, I don't want to burn incense about it, but I know a thing or two about moving some earth. Brother, truly, you are powerful. Uh, yeah, very gambit. We need to find those things and go. Hanging on best as I can here. You gotta point me in the right direction, man. How about I just make you a path? That'll do nicely. But now I just wish I had bigger pockets. I feel like stealing from uh, witches is a bad idea as it stands, but if you feel comfortable with that on your soul, go nuts. Give him here. I want to have both hands on him when Apocalypse asks. He wants them, he can take them from me when he gets Rogue out of that coffin, but not before. Ready to go? Yeah. You feeling watched? Tom. No! Rick, we being crushed! I'm trying! Ugh. Was that so hard? I didn't. You, Earth Wielder, child of the loam, not human, not fey. Your earth working comes from your birth, yes? Comes naturally to you. More or less, when it behaves. The earth can be fickle. Couldn't agree with you more. Are you gonna let us leave? My friend here says we're cool with druids. We don't like Coven Akaba either. Do not assume those who live in the earth trust those who live upon it. But even less do we trust wizards and magi who wrest power from the gods and stories as though they are theirs to command. We serve the earth, as do you, brother. You are a druid. Oh, I assure you, I am not. Your power over the earth is inborn, not learned, like our own. The earth speaks of your coming. For her, the wait for you has been no time at all. Your gifts are not strange or uncontrolled. 
You are like us. You must live alongside her, not atop her. Rick, this is not what we came for. Your friend is right. These are the things you see. They are full of witch breed energy, and they have called you here. Oh, man. I can't take these. We already took some. Richter, shh. Yes, you took the ones made out of the same stuff as these, but their energy has been long depleted. We keep them here as a decoy. For thieves. No, that, that's Gambit. He's with me. You can't hurt him. Brother, no, come back. Maybe later. Maybe later? Oh, like you would. Catch. Rick, I've been worshipped, and it ain't all it's cracked up to be. You be careful. Oh, you be careful. Fuck my powers. Gambit! Gambit! I, I didn't mean to. Ruben and I are converts to the cause. Thank you, Mariana. We are not born powerful like mutants. We have a humility that makes us open to serving more powerful beings and wielding their gifts. Perfect gophers for the gods. What a gig. I'll speak for myself. Humility is a gift that allows for one to surpass the ego. We feel no shame in it. But you chose the name Akaba with all its ties. The name and place existed and belonged to humankind before you existed. I trace my lineage back to an Akaba before Apocalypse, an Akaba that belonged to humans, at least before we knew you existed. Who knows how many mutant children were dashed on the rocks before one of you came along who was powerful enough to do anything about it. Don't provoke me. I was sent here by the Queen to settle her fears. Fears that you put into her about me. Your goading won't work. We're hardly that kind of group. No? Then are you the sort to lure me here as a trap? Your paranoia about mutants hasn't been serving you well if you think I can't sense your bloodlust. Bits, I don't think. You can call me Captain Britain. Do you forget you're a mutant too? Understandably, these are just some of the concerns raised by a mutant Captain Britain. Others are less about your species and more about your nature. Your brother has the humility of a knight. Captain Britain chose between the amulet and the sword. Your choice was foisted upon you. By all reports, Brian gave you the amulet. You did not make the choice. You are no Captain Britain. You are a dangerous pretender. Are you through? Next time you're fearfully obsessing over me, Save me a trip and just think your hateful thoughts. I can sense them from paradise where I live. I serve the queen, and in times of crisis in the other world, she trusts my judgment over her own, which is unwise, as we are proving to her now. What? We aren't setting a trap, just a distraction. Your inexperience is going to become an issue. We warn her majesty of such. There's a reason most of us don't resort to dragons at war and other world. Such convenient war machines, you'd think they'd be all over. The reality of other world is so fragile now that it is unmade by dragon fire. And this fire seems to have caught. It's melted a hole in the very fabric of other world, the thin veil that protects our world from theirs. It lures beasts like catnip, the dragon fire does. When reality opens up like that, they just smell fresh prey. As we speak, all the unseelie beasts of other world are tearing their way through that flaming hole you left in Morgan Le Fay's courtyard. If only the Queen could have trusted Captain Britain to do her job. But how can she? What does Captain Britain care? She lives in paradise. Ooh, oh, Coven of Shade, because they did not have to gather Betsy like that. Baby Shogo unknowingly melted a hole in Otherworld, and these creatures are coming through. It is not Shogo's fault that Otherworld's edges are so thin. The war has reached our shores, Rogue. This is merely an opening salvo, meant to test the captain's hand. But we know better. We have been working since the beginning. Haven't we?